Welcome to the TechnologyCloset.com and our quick shots. In this quick shot, we're going to show you how you can get a very nice third party system backup software, almost comparable to the big guys, such as Acronis. This one is free. This one works. And I have tested it, and it does do what it says it does. I'm going to install it on this computer and we're going to start a backup just to show you how easy it is. First, from the desktop, open up your browser and then you want to set your URL to www.backup-utility.com. The name of this company is Aomi Backupper. 1.6 version is the latest. And you can just simply click on the green button for free download and if you're running Windows uh, 7 Vista uh, XP 8 you get a larger download here but if you're only running Windows 7 and 8 we're not going to worry about server then you take this download it's a smaller download once you have downloaded the file let's go to the download folder and we're going to install it. It does have to run with administrative privileges so we'll just click yes and follow the prompts. I have not seen any spyware, adware, or any other things checked before you install which is kinda nice. I appreciate that and I think you will too. Now it's going to go through the installation And when it's completed, just click Finish. There's our desktop icon. Let's open it up. Again, Administrative Privileges. And we're going to do a backup. We're going to create a backup. It'll be a total backup, a system backup. It backs up everything so that you can actually restore a full system backup should you have a problem with your hard drive. Let's create a backup. You can create a disk backup, a partition backup, and a system backup. We're going to do the disk backup. First step is task name, disk backup. We'll leave it alone. Step one, select the disks. In my case, I have disk zero and disk one. Disk zero is the hard drive on my computer. Disk one is where we're going to store the image. So I just click here. It highlights both partitions. Click Add. Where are we going to save it? Step two is to open it up. Go to our PC. Go to the drive that we're going to save it to, which is the D drive. We're going to just leave it the way it is. Select Open. And start the backup. It now will start. I'm going to let this pause for a moment and when we come back when it's done. Alright, as you can see we're finished and this didn't take very long. This was a, about uh, 10 gigabytes of data and it only took perhaps about 7 minutes. Now that you've made your backup, think of this as a backup image. It's what it is, but think of it as a disaster recovery image. That is, if you have a problem and your hard drive should fail, you can boot back to this image and restore it. Now, you can't restore an image from within the program that created the image, so you have to boot from an external source. Well, they give you the ability to do that too. If we look down here under the Utilities tab, and this is where we are when we, when we leave the backup completion, when we go down to the Utilities uh, selection, we can create a bootable media. Now, we're not going to do that in this video, but you can either use a CD or DVD, or you could even use a USB key. Well, that's a great utility to use. I hope you download it, install it. It can be run on all versions of Windows, XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, 
and of course Windows 8.1 is what we're using here. Well that's it for this uh, quick shot. Please visit our website at thetechnologycloset.com and while you're there click on our YouTube button. Check out our YouTube channel. Until next time.